For the past 30 days, I improved my Notion productivity setup using lessons that I learned from Ali Abdal and Karma Medic. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use these principles as well. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Luis. I'm a third year medical student from the Philippines. And when I initially started using Notion as my main productivity tool to track all my schoolwork, YouTube, and other daily activities, I encountered a major choke point in that when creating to-do lists or weekly to-do lists for all these tasks, I found it hard to organize them properly into different aspects of my life. Nasir's video covered the idea of using a GTD framework within Notion, while Ali showed me a more efficient way of organizing my ideas within Notion from concept to publishing the video on my channel. Combining the lessons that I learned from their videos, I restructured my Notion setup and has significantly increased my productivity. So to start off the tour of my Notion setup, we're gonna start here at the main dashboard of my account. So this is a simple setup that just shows basic information such as the weather in my local area, um, the main pages which I work with. So here's my, um, this here, the grind, is my GTD dashboard, and my med school page, uh, creative work, um, life and admin, and my fitness. And over here under daily motivation, I have a tribute video from Nike to Kobe Bryant celebrating the anniversary of his death. And down below, I have a calendar synced to my Google Calendar. And this is not a built-in function of Notion in that I have to create uh, this calendar using a third-party um, API from, I think, they're from indify.co. And what they do is that allow you to create links that you can embed in Notion so that you can gain certain functionality that are not native to Notion, such as um, just the weather icon here and like telling time, having counters. And I can go into month view and I can see which days I'll have certain activities, I can go into week view, and I can go to specific to day view, and I can like and I can cycle through the days. The month view is only limited to like three activities per box. So when I go to agenda view, it can show me all I all the activities I have upcoming within the next week. So I know everything that's gonna come up um, per day for the following week. And I find this one very useful. That's why I set it as my default view. So to continue the tour, let's go to my GTD dashboard. So I nicknamed my GTD dashboard the grind and here in the custom banner I took a picture from uh, this wallpaper of Casey Neistat using the, mod the model do more and then I kind of put this emoji with the shades to represent Casey because like he's like the I think He's like my idol when it comes to like this whole productivity within the YouTube scene. Cause like extremely productive YouTuber during his early during his the daily vlogging era of YouTube, and he was just posting videos uh, on a daily basis, and each one was very high quality. So the GTD framework is basically this productivity system from the author David Allen, who wrote it in his book Get Things Done, which is what GTD stands for. And GTD basically has five main principles, which is to capture, clarify, organize reflect and engage and this is all imbued into this um, dashboard that I have here. The tutorial I watched to build this dashboard will be linked down below from uh, this other productivity feature called Kai and the, and this is the tutorial that was linked in last year's video so uh, you can check that out if you want to build a setup like this. The functionality basically of the GTD dashboard is that I can write down any tasks that I want here and throughout the day I can accumulate these tasks and when I have the time I can sit down and clarify what I need to do with this task so for example I will write down a few tasks first so now I've written down a few tasks and these would represent thoughts or ideas that I have throughout the day and I write them down here in the inbox so when I have the time to sit down and um, go through these I can uh, clarify them by selecting context and I can you can see here I have a whole bunch of categories to help me organize what uh, these tasks are about so for example let's make a YouTube video that would involve my iPad or laptop so I could look at my script uh, it would involve my camera to film I'd probably do it at my desk uh, this would be a high energy task because I have to be lively for the video and it would be under my uh, YouTube cat category for my channel so clarify it using that so so since like making a YouTube video that would be for um, that there'd be a weekly deadline so uh, since I post every week on Wednesday I would schedule that for Wednesday next week 
And if, if I were to make it urgent, I'd label it ASAP. But since it's something that's still due next week, I can leave it blank for now. And here for a uh, related project, I, I have three main uh, aspects, which is YouTube, medical school, and life and admin. So, and since this task set is make YouTube video, I will categorize it on, under this under the YouTube tab. And after doing that, it will disappear. And what will happen is that it will um, go to my YouTube hub here, which lists down all the um, tasks I have that are categorized under YouTube. And using the functionality of ASAP, like say here, make YouTube video, if I were to um, click check the check mark for ASAP, if I scroll back up, it would go, it would appear in this do now table. So as you see here, I have a whole bunch of activities that I have marked as ASAP. And the point of this table is to remind me of the activities I need to get done as soon as possible because they are at the top of my priority to get done. So if I were, for example, to remove, to uncheck one of them, so let's see here, uh, make YouTube video, if I uncheck that, it would disappear because I've set the filter for this to only include tasks where the ASAP box is checked. And once they're also selected as done, they will also be removed from this table. So scrolling down through my GDD dashboard, you can see I've already written down several other tasks for my schoolwork. Here that um, these are the requirements I have to complete for my infectious disease module. And you can see the dates here. And with due soon, I have a filter that shows that all the tasks here are due within the next week. If I don't have any tasks that are due as soon as possible, I would look at my due soon table to remind me of what tasks I have coming up that I have to complete. And then if I want to get a broader view of all the tasks I have coming up that are more than a week away, I would scroll down and then look at my life admin work, uh, YouTube, and medical school. So here I, I have a task that's due on February 28th and that is to uh, read 40 pages of the seven habits of highly effective people which is one of the books that i'm currently reading so moving on from my gtd dashboard let's check out my medical school work so this is my medical school hub and this is similar to my main notion da dashboard except that it's linked to a different google calendar that shows the calendar of my entire school year so i know what all the upcoming modules are for the remainder of the school year and and i have a uh, I have it divided three columns at the top where I have my notebooks, uh, my board review tracker, a uh, page for my research, and a template that I, if I ever want to make new notebooks. And I have a links column which shows a link to my uh, Canvas learning management system, um, a G drive for LEC, which is for a part of my schoolwork, a uh, link to my batches trans folder, and a boards review G drive, which is a link to all the uh, US MLE and other board related review materials that I can reference when studying. And then here I have a general goals to do list. So just a ha so if I have like any general goals that I want to put for myself, I would put these here. So let's check out uh, first my boards review tracker. So even though I'm taking the boards in still two years time, I decided to make this tracker early so that once I start studying for the physician licensure exam in the Philippines, I already have a nice tracker to work with so I don't have to waste time making one once I do start studying. So above here you can see I have a countdown so which is also again from Indify and then here I have a quote of the day which I also got from Indify. So these are just custom links that I embedded on the Notion. Here these are all the subjects of the PLE so I have to help me track my review once I do start reviewing. And then here I have down here for US Emily once I eventually start also studying for the US MLE. So going back to my medical school uh, page, I have, I'll have i go now to my subject notebooks. So currently I'm in infectious diseases, so I'll show you what that is. So here in the notebook, I, at the top, I put all the requirements I have for the module. So these are the, my quizzes and then the module, uh, the coverage, which is a uh, module four, and all the individual activities that I have um, Get to accomplish or have accomplished so for example if i'm done now with an activity say individual activity 3 which is uh, post to stewardship which i uh, completed earlier this afternoon 
I'll check that so that uh, it will allow me to know that I'm really done with uh, that activity. And within the notebook, I've divided the infection diseases module into sub-modules based on how they're arranged within the Canvas learning system. So here, I have module one, I have organized it for lecture. And once I open it, this drop down, you can see all the different active recall questions that I've created for myself so that I can, when I go to review them, I can just simply toggle them and see the answer to the question. And this is all part of my active recall study system. So this is all, still all a work in progress with regards to my um, medical school note-taking setup. I'm still trying to find ways to optimize it so I can better incorporate my active recall and space repetition system. So now moving on from my uh, medical school workflow, so time to move into the interesting, really interesting bit, which is my YouTube channel. Uh, workflow system. So here on my YouTube channel page is basically, or it was originally a uh, template that Ali linked in his YouTube video and since then I've tweaked it to make it suit my needs. So on at the top I have uh, uh, one uh, several links to pages on the left and uh, several notes that I have on the right. So moving first to the pages, here I have a page of milestones so I'm tracking all my subscriber milestones since I started my YouTube channel. So June 10 is when I posted my first video so that I started from zero subs there and you can see my progress August 4, 100 subs, uh, November 13, 500 subs and so on. And you can see here uh, as I'm filming this in February, I'm predicting that I will reach 1000 subs sometime this month. So subscribe if you haven't yet. So moving back, I have a page now for sponsors and what this page is is to, for me to track future sponsors since I don't really have any sponsors right now this is not currently not really serving any purpose but it's something that I intend to use once I do start getting uh, brand deals as my channel grows and then down below I have notes that I've take, uh, taken from watching Skillshare classes during my spare time so basically here in this vlogging principles page I've taken down notes from my personal experiences of watching my favorite youtubers such as Casey Neistat and Skillshare classes from youtubers like Sarah Dietschy and in addition to that I just have a video making notes from other Skillshare classes which covers more on the editing side and making thumbnails of my youtube channel also taken from videos that I've watched on Skillshare and I've arranged it based on the creator so you can see here uh, video editing and final cut pro tutorial from Ali Abdal's uh, Skillshare class. I have uh, making thumbnails on Canva from Johnny Hermosa and also I have notes on a from a storytelling Skillshare class from Thomas Dayer and Yes Theory which is something that I'm trying to improve on with my YouTube videos to help tell a story so that it's more entertaining for you guys. And in my goals page these are short term goals that I have set for myself in 2021 that I will try to reach hopefully within the year. And this is all in the hopes that making better and more useful YouTube videos for you guys. So now to get into the meat of my YouTube uh, workflow setup, I have here a Kanban board setup that will show my entire uh, YouTube workflow. So in the first column here on the far left, I have a, uh, this is my idea dump. So if, like, any, any, if I have any idea for a video, whether it's just a title or just a concept, I just throw it here. And then once I have a better idea of how to concretize that idea, I put it in under the ideas column because like if here I would already have some links to research and did some initial writing um, so this is something that is as more likely to become a video than something that I've just thrown here in my idea dump. And within this idea column this is where I derive all the topics that I would eventually write into a video. So here in the right column I have a whole bunch of videos that I'm in the process of writing about and like they're all at different stages of writing and then once I'm done with them I move them into the film tab which shows all the videos that I've already completed the script for or because of the nature of the video I can already just film straight off the bat so here you can see script for this video is already put here under film the notion of productivity tutorial for med students and then once I'm done filming this video I'll put it under edit so to remind me that I just need to edit this video and then once I publish it, I move it to the publish column here, which I have hidden. So moving on from my YouTube setup, I'll show now my life and admin page. So this is much simpler compared to my med school and YouTube page because it's something that I haven't developed that much yet since there's nothing much going on given that we're 
stuck in quarantine still here in the Philippines. And that's something that I've learned from Ali Abdal is trying to track my books. The, since I, it's something that I want to get back into the habit because I used to read a lot growing up and I think now that I'm older, I have to get more into reading content that is like useful for me, for the channel, and it's like, and just genuinely interests me to get like ideas from other parts of life that I wouldn't necessarily be exposed to simply just as a medical student. So as you can see here in Curly Rap, uh, reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, here's uh, Get Things Done by David Allen, and the Promised Land, which I'm, which is the autobiography, part one of the, the latest autobiography by Barack Obama, which I'm listening to on audiobook. And you can see here, it's also in the Kanban board system. It shows a recommended uh, column to be read, reading done. And you can see here in the done column, since I started the, reading this, and since I started using this table system, I finished one book, which is Smarter, Better, Faster from Charles Duhigg. So the nice thing about this, I can move into table view, so I can see my uh, books in a different way. So basically how it's organized is like title, author, status, whether I'm reading, done, to be read, the genre of the book, uh, rec if it's recommended by, from, if it was reckoned to be recommended to me by like a YouTuber, a uh, blogger, or a friend, and then I have here uh, a start and finish, so I know how long it took me to finish the book from the moment, from the day I started it to the to the day I finished the entire book. So I have this setup similar in my uh, other chapter. So here for TV series, I have um, the list of the shows that I'm watching. So like Hospital Playlist, that's one that I'm currently watching. And here I have the other shows that I recently finished, Demon Slayer, Sword Art Online, uh, Witcher Season 1, and so on. And here I have recommended from my friend Q, uh, Alice in Borderlands. So that's something that I will go to watch once I'm done finished watching Hospital Playlist. So I hope this video inspired you to make your own Notion productivity setup. And if you like this video, please check out my other video on how I take notes in medical school using Notion. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.